Hi, this is Dr. Jay Kim. I'm a facial plastic surgeon in Fairfax, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. Today, I'd like to talk to you about blepharoplasty, in particular, upper eyelid surgery. There are three factors to consider as an Asian patient when you are thinking about eyelid surgery. The first factor is a crease. The second factor is ptosis or droopy eye. And the third factor is changes related to the aging process. The first factor is the crease. About 50% of Asian people do not have a crease. We call that a monolid. The reason that this is the case is because there is a muscle called the levator which opens your eye. But in the Asian patient without a crease, the anatomy of that levator muscle is different. In Asian upper blepharoplasty, creating a crease involves working with the levator so that a crease becomes permanent. The second factor to consider is ptosis, or droopy eye. This can occur for various reasons, including some medical problems. But when ptosis is independent of other medical reasons, this can be corrected in blepharoplasty surgery. By manipulating the levator muscle that I mentioned when I was talking about the crease, ptosis can be corrected on one side or both sides. The third factor to consider involves changes related to the aging process. With time, the upper eyelid can develop excess skin, which may droop over your eyes, or fat pooching out over your upper eyelid as well. These factors can be corrected or improved with eyelid surgery. If you'd like more information about upper eyelid surgery, please visit the office and I'll be glad to talk with you more and figure out your goals and come up with a plan to help you look and feel your best. I'm Dr. Jay Kim and I wish you and yours a wonderful day.